Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures with a quick response to EDT 1138's latest Top 3 Tuesday. This week featuring OK Chief 420 um, a YouTuber I wasn't subscribed to. I've gone and subscribed to him now. He has some excellent videos. Um, and uh, another good thing about Top 3 Tuesday, you're always encountering um, uh, YouTubers that you haven't heard of who have great channels. Uh, so it really is a good way of spreading the word. So. His question that he posed to us this week was our favourite handheld video games. Um, and I'm going to, uh, as I normally do, go for a couple of eras. Now, of course, Ed picked one of mine, which is not fair. But anyway, he's, he's allowed to go first, so I'll let him have that. So mine is also for the um, Neo Geo um, Pocket, Pocket Colour here. And the game that I have sitting in the back that I have I carry around with me when I'm shuttling my kids everywhere is... Metal Slug First Mission. It really is an excellent game on the Neo Geo, which you can only really play in a lighted environment, so it's the unfortunate thing about this. Um, now, just for interest sakes, these are not on my list. What else is in my little bag that I carry around? Oh, look, Metal Slug Second Mission and Dark Arms, which is actually quite a good little game. A little Zelda ish, I suppose. It's a bit of an adventure type game, so that was just for interest sake, so. Number three, uh, Metal Slug First Mission on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Now, number two is a handheld that I haven't seen anybody else, oh, not, not that I've watched everybody's videos yet, is for the Atari Lynx, which is definitely a handheld that I, I owned since new, so this is my own one that I bought back in the day. Uh, it's not too bad condition, only a couple little marks on the screen. And what's in the back of it? Robotron. 2084 and um, I mean it is really good version of Robotron I uh, can't really show any gameplay, I even have the box too I am pretty good at keeping my original stuff so um, Robotron 2084 for the Lynx, excellent game um, a very close section second on that one would be the game Toki which has a very good version on that and yes I'm gonna go a bit more modern for my number one pick um, I only recently got a DS, um, and uh, I mean we have had several in the family. I mean a couple of the girls have actually had more than one. They've progressed from an original up to a light, and uh, and one of them, are the um, my second oldest girl, I recently bought her a 3DS for her birthday. But up until recently, until my friend gave me a DS, I had not really sat down and played any DS games. Um, now he gave me a DS with um, uh, Super Ma new Super Mario Brothers cover, but no actual card, <laughs> and a couple of Las Vegas poker games. So I wasn't too um, too stressed about playing, but I had it in a play of it. And then I was in our local um, Big W store, as they're called, and I found this game for five dollars, and it's called Geometry Wars Galaxies. And this has replaced the uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color in the car with me when I'm waiting for my girls while I finish dancing. It is a really, really good game and I really do enjoy it. I have also gone out and got a loose copy of the Super Mario Brothers as well um, to you know complement the case that I have um, and I've been playing that as well. Uh, so I play an alternation but I will play this more. So there is my number one pick. Geometry Wars Galaxies, I really enjoy this game. I even saw it for the Wii in a special basket and almost bought that and I never play the Wii as well. So there you go. The game must have something in it if it makes me um, want to use a console that I don't really use. But anyway, great question. Make sure you go check out Ed's original video and I'll put a link down to OK Chief 420's channel as well there for you. And I'll catch you all next time.